Coast. Savi, obviously, uh, you guys are able to find the groove um, on Saturday. Uh, for you, just working through uh, the growing pains of this season, trying to put it all together, uh, what did you see from, from the energy, at least from your aspect on Saturday, that changed? Um, I think we had great energy throughout the whole game, and I think it um, even started with our bench. Um, that's something that we've been emphasizing, um, you know, just watching some other teams and how they had energy um, with their bench. And I think our bench did a great job. I think it was like maybe like a second possession, third possession to the game where it was kind of like that. Uh, there was like a double team in the corner, and then uh, the big guy had got stuck, and we were denying, denying. And um, so you see the bench, you know, standing up, clapping, showing energy, and it, you know, and forcing a turnover, and that kind of set the the. Uh, I kind of set the mood, set the tone for the rest of the game. So our bench energy was amazing. Um, obviously, the crowd was there. That's that was, it was packed, super packed. It was um, you know top top three for me since I've been here. Um, and it was just a you know great overall game to win, um, especially against a rivalry, in-state rivalry like that. And, you know it was, it was a great showing. How exciting was it for you and the rest of the guys just to see Jacob, you know, finally put on a performance like that? Um, that was really exciting. Um, he deserved it. Um, Jacob's put in a lot of time, a lot of work, and, um, and sometimes when uh, you know you put that work in and you have some success like he did in the Bahamas and early in the season, and then sometimes you kind of struggle a little bit, kind of hits home. It's just like yo, I, I put all this time in, um, and like why am I struggling now? And then you know that's just part of the maturation process. I mean, it's like sometimes you can put all that work in, and is it going to be um, you know? ultimate level of, of success throughout the rest of your journey. Sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board and do what you did that had you had a success in the first place. And um, and that's what he did. Um, he, got his, he got his mind right, he got his self right. Um, and he played a big time game. Um, and now we need that type of energy because not always he's gonna make every shot like he did, but that type of energy, that type of awareness, that type of presence from him from the rest of the season. How much of the game as you get older, I mean, you work on shooting and, and all these, you know, other things on the court. How much of it for you guys now is to work on it mentally off, off the court as well? Yeah, that's definitely um, a big thing um, mentally. Because, you know, it's, you can't play anything. You can't do anything in life without having your head and your mental awareness intact. Like, you can't do your job if you're not mentally there. Um, you can't play basketball if you're not mentally there. Because basketball is a lot of it is mental. It's confidence. It's knowing what you're going to do, knowing where you should be and when when to go, the timing of it. Um, you know, not just basketball, like I said, in life, like you can't do, you can't go after your dreams and aspirations if you're doubting yourself. You can't, you know, be a great brother, be a great husband, uh, be a great, you know, family member, or be a great person in society if your mental health isn't there. And so, yeah, definitely that's something that um, everyone is kind of emphasizing, but uh, um, playing here, um, you gotta make sure it is strong because, you know, there's a, there's a lot of highs and lows. You get high when you win, because everyone thinks you're the best in the world. But when you lose, everyone acts like it's the end of the world. So um, being able to you know keep a level head and um, confide in each other, continue to love each other, and um, obviously helps you out a lot. What did it mean on the court to, to have bench shortened? It seemed like there were guys running longer stretches on Saturday. Uh, what did it mean? Yeah, what did it mean to, you know, to get those more minutes, to, to not be yanked in and out so much? Well, I mean, I, I didn't notice. Um, you know, that's, that's not my decision. Um, that's, that's up to the coaching staff. And, with, you know, and obviously, at the end of the day, we're all bought into trying to win the game. Um, so whatever they see fit is what is going to happen, and we all have to trust that plan. Um, you know, we all want to play here so we can win. So that's, that's the biggest thing. Does it get you into a flow better, though? Is it I'm... To you personally, like, me personally, yeah. Like, um, nah, I mean, this is I just do whatever's best for the team, whether it's you know me playing a lot or me not playing a lot. Um, I just want to win and, and help my teammates get to the win, and uh, I know if we win, everything else will take care of itself. What has having Tyler Eulis on the bench and around the program more and more? What has he been able to add and help you guys with? Um, definitely, um, just his, his knowledge, his experience. Um, you know, he's played that not only he's played here at a high level, but he also played in the, in the NBA. Um, so bringing his, you know, his knowledge, his experience, um, his little details, especially at the point guard position, because that's what he played. And um, so it's been, it's been big time. Um, and you know, looking forward to having him come, up, come with us on the road. Um, and even, I mean, I think, I think he's coming with us on the road, and you know, continue to have him on the, on the bench in the home games. 
Um, Cause he's super, super cool. Not only just, you know, because of his mind of basketball, but just outside of basketball, being able to talk to him, chop it up, share life experiences. I and mean, overall, he's, he's super cool to be around. Was the Louisville game almost a reset button for you guys? Like you went to Missouri, took a tough loss. You have one more non-conference, then you go back into SEC play. Is that kind of like a reset button and you guys can go forward, I guess, going off of that win? Um, I mean, I'm, the thing about playing here is like, yeah, you take a loss, but the next the next game is still a quality worthy opponent. Um, and, that's, and we knew the game was important just because it was Louisville, not Louisville, Louisville. <laughs> um, uh, because that is a rivalry, you know, it's, it's a big time rivalry, rivalry in college basketball sports. So uh, we know we wanted to win that game and also to end the year off on, on a good note, on a winning note. And, um, you know, we took care of business and, and that's what we did. What do you know about this LSU team? Uh, it seemed you know, totally different from last year, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we know we're going to play hard. That's every LSU team. We're going to play really hard. Um, they're going to get after it. They got a couple guys who are playing really well. Um, you know, they're going to come here. It's going to be a good game. Um, but we, we got to do whatever it takes to win. Was there any main takeaway for you, at least, of what went wrong at Missouri? Uh, was there anything that stuck out to you all, or was that just sort of a performance you just kind of throw away and move on from? I mean, in a way, you got to treat you know, a lot of games like that because it's the SEC. You can't harp on the last game, but definitely watching film, um, definitely some possessions where, uh, you know, we took a quick shot, what we thought was a good shot. You know, we've, we've taken those type of shots in games and we've made them like, man, that's a good shot. But man, if we just missed last two and you take that same shot, is it really, is it still a good shot? Um, so we made controlling the pace a little bit more, um, knowing when to go and when not to go, um, execution. Um, and I think you kind of saw that, you know, in the last game, like we controlled the pace the whole game. Um, you know, we wasn't playing super fast. Um, you know, we played kind of deliberate sometimes. We deliberately pushed or we deliberately grinded it out. And, um, and you know, waited to the last it's second, and wait to make, you know, take, you know, pass up a good shot for a great shot. I know we shared the ball, got the ball, you know, from the strong side to the weak side, back to the strong side, and then followed up with another ending action, whether it was, you know, a pick and roll or a give and go and that type of stuff, just to make sure the offense was balanced and set. Because sometimes good offense is taking a good shot that allow you to get back and have good transition defense. If you take a quick shot, you know, that's a quick outlet to their to their break. So, uh, you know, just, just, you know, cleaning stuff up on that end. And I think we did that last game. Hopefully we can build on that. You talked about some of the stuff that Tyler did to help you guys with being around. But for yourself and Jason, you know, you being older player, Jason being, you know, experienced just a freshman, what have you tried to help him with? And, and what has your relationship been like with him so far this season? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call, you know, guys uh, who play at Kentucky inexperienced. Um, I don't think that's a, that's a great word to use. Um, because these guys have played high-level basketball at such a long time, unless they wouldn't be here. Um, but uh, Kaysen has a sort of a maturity to him. He's kind of level-headed, even kill. He doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Um, and that, you know, that's, that's been a good thing for us. Um, but with him, I mean, we just we want him to be aggressive. He's super efficient um, on, the, on, the, on the court offensively. He gets after de defensively. Um, so him just continuing to be aggressive. Um, and, you know, for him to, the next step for him is obviously becoming, um, you know, a better playmaker. I mean, he's super unselfish about sometimes just seeing the weak side. Hey, man, if that dude's, you know, standing there, there's a guy in the corner. Um, because he does everything else so well, kind of nitpicking. But uh, he's been a great player for us. We want him to continue to be aggressive, um, continue to share what he knows because he's a smart. He's smart. He has a great mind for the game. And um, we continue to do that. We're going to be really good. How much does it motivate you guys? I mean, I don't think the rankings have come out yet, uh, but you might not be ranked. You might still be. But how much does it motivate you to see teams right now? It's, it's still early in SEC play ahead of you guys right now. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, at the end of the day, what matters is getting to the NCAA tournament and winning. Um, you know, last year at Civil Force, North Carolina, when we played them, they weren't ranked and they went to the national championship game. North Carolina, I think we lost four straight this year already. Um, so there are teams who are kind of doing, not doing the same thing, but they're similar, you know, still early in the season, like you said, only one game in the SEC play. So that stuff doesn't matter. It matters is us continuing to get better as a team and um, get into March and obviously us playing our best basketball then. From what you saw, what, what was the difference you think in the global game? What, what improved the global game from the Missouri game? 
for the whole team. Um, I think it's the energy that we have on the bench, on the court. Everyone was very energetic. You can see that we were trying to make a statement, and I think that's what we did. So you're talking about the more energy from the bench, from the guys not playing. How, how did you? Was that something you all talked about before the game that you wanted to do, or that happened naturally? Or? Um, coaches were a little like disappointed in the bench at the Missouri game. We weren't really getting into the game. We were just clapping and not really like hyping the team up. Wow, Missouri had a sold out gym and their bench was standing the whole game. So we realized we got to change that and come with energy. Is it different for you? I mean, you guys are used to playing heavy minutes, you know, but you know, at this level adjusting to a new role. Um, yeah, it's definitely difficult, but you just got, we just got to stay patient and uh, wait for our chance. But until then, we're going to be excited for our teammates, what they're doing on the court, and just be happy for everyone. Cal has mentioned you as someone who is going to have an impact on college basketball at some point throughout your career. Just when you hear him say that, just what, what is your reaction to that? Um, definitely makes me want to work harder, but uh, I don't know when that time is going to come or if it's this year, next year, year after. Just I just know that I'm going to work hard no matter what. How do you, I guess you are used to playing a lot coming out of high school. How do you balance the mental aspect of this game and, you know, taking less minutes and just kind of the pressure that you guys are under? Um, I talk to my family every day. And my dad and mom both play college basketball. So they're uh, there to talk to me whenever I need to talk. And they just tell me, stay focused, just keep grinding every day, and your time will come. Just be ready for it. How exciting was it for you and the rest of the guys to see Jacob, you know, finally get that big performance that he's been looking for this season? It was definitely a great feeling. I mean, he's had a, he's been struggling a little bit to do what he does. Like we saw, when we were scrimmaging at the beginning of the year in the Bahamas. Like that, Jacob Toppin is unguardable, and just to see that he was able to go out and get what was it, twenty four. 24, that was just, I was just very happy for him. When you look back at that Bahamas trip, was there any main takeaway that you feel like maybe the team had sort of lost over the course of the season? It seemed like that group was you know, really energetic, showing a lot of toughness. Obviously, it was the first time you all were really getting to play together as a unit. Just what's the biggest difference to the team now versus back then? Um, I think it was we were having a lot of fun. <coughs> In the Bahamas, we would just go out there and play, have fun, play hard. I think now we're just playing and not really having fun. Like it's it's not fun losing. So I think uh, against Louisville, we had a lot of fun in that game. The bench was into it. Everyone on the court was into it. After a big play, we're all getting hyped. Uh, all the fans were into it. I think that's just what we're missing, the uh, having fun part. How do you keep that fun? going forward, even if you know you might suffer a loss or two? Um, I think that's just like, it's just a couple losses. It's still early. I mean, we're just going to learn from it. And then it's in the past. So we're just going to move on to the next game. I think we just got to go in there and perform. How much work do you have to do? I mean, you do a lot of on the court work. You uh, talked about it a little bit. Uh, how much work are you learning it is to, to keep your mental healthy as well, you know, as you deal with this pressure and go through uh, the highs and lows? Um, the amount of work that we put on court, we also have to put that same amount of work into our body for, like, treatment and everything. And just that just helps a lot because, you know, we do a lot. And... Jeff, our trainer, he takes care of us. So we're ready to go in the next day and practice the same way. Have you guys done any film work on LSU yet? What do you, what do you know about them? Um, we, uh, coaches have done film. They're telling us like what we need to do, but we haven't had our film session where we broke everything down.
What do you know about them? Uh, we just know that they work hard. We gotta be ready to compete because it's a good team, and we just gotta go out there and perform.